Hello everyone, I'm very exciting today to uh, show you a demo of uh, uh, our end-to-end -end testing, which involves uh, both um, uh, mobile application and the web application. I'll show you how to easily do that at Test Trigger. All right, so today will be actual demo where we'll actually do that uh, to make sure uh, uh, it is clear how to do that from beginning to end. So first of all, uh, let's create an application called web and mobile. So the trick here is that it should be a native or, or mobile application because you can always specify uh, a new URL. However, um, you can only upload currently just one application like APK or IS application. All right, so you can specify username and password for login function and let's do Android and we can do, um, let's say this Samsung Galaxy and we can generate uh, one test. I'll pick a simple application. Upload it. All right. Okay, so uh, basically while uh, automatic test is being built uh, for us, uh, we will uh, look into resources and we'll check the documentation. You can always click resources documentation and uh, here uh, we have in, in the section where it says table basic of commands closer to the end of, uh, of this section, uh, where is the part after geolocation where it says start browser, start device. So you can uh, actually start multiple browsers and multiple devices at the same time. Why would you do that? Well, uh, for example, you might want to check uh, different roles, how they see information propagated instantaneously, or if you want to uh, test chat, especially with uh, multiple involved parties and uh, web and mobile. So then this is where you, you might be willing to do that. And usually there is also a switch uh, thing in there once you start a browser or device, you would want to uh, switch to it immediately. So you probably want to um, uh, switch that. And almost all of our documentation now has examples where you can open up an example test. It's an actual test, which actually run on test trigger, illustrating uh, the command. <laughs> Okay, so let's get back. So this is automatically generated test. So for this simplistic application, this is what it does. Uh, Click I'm ready and then I'm steady and that's it. it generated this test for us. And uh, let's do the following. Uh, let us uh, create a new test called cross uh, web in mobile. So first of all, what the system will do, it will load the mobile application, but then uh, we want to start the browser, which is literally just going to paste the command and open URL where um, what do you want to open? Amazon.com, for example. Then we can click cart. Uh, then we need to figure out how to switch back, right? So for um, uh, just demo purposes, not going to do anything wrong. But let's switch back. Uh, there is always default in there, right? So you can uh, switch to device, and it will be default.
default is the original device. And then in the device, we can tap about. All right, go. Uh, let's um, and run. Uh, it will take a little bit of time because as I mentioned, uh, this is uh, uh, mobile first uh, test suite and therefore it will first preload the mobile application. And then it will uh, uh, start starting the browser, switching to it, doing the, some stuff in there. Um, and then we will just quickly switch back. So what uh, our system is doing when it works with mobile applications is it uh, starts um, the server and starts the emulator, which you specified when you create a test suite and it downloads your uh, mobile application locally, uploads it in, into emulator simulator. When it starts mobile application, then it waits until mobile application started. And when it's uh, all, all done, then it's uh, basically takes screenshot uploads so you can see it. And then it starts to execute the key, the commands which you have specified when you have created this uh, test case. Uh, very go. So it's uh, started it. Uh, basically, as you can see, this is a screenshot, original one. Here we started new browser and switched there. Um, and then we started Amazon, click cart, or go and click the cart. Uh, well, the cart is clearly empty. Uh, then it switched back to, to default and then it clicked about. And voila, like we are in about section. So uh, as you can see here, uh, this is this test spans both web and mobile. And of course, uh, you can do API calls. Of course, you can interact with email or text messages in the same uh, uh, test. And uh, of course, anything else that uh, test triggers capable of, we can just do in the same test. As soon as it is in our language, or basically almost anything you can think of, you can just do it in, in, in test trigger uh, as soon as the, as soon as where is the command just said where and uh, test trigger will execute it for you. Uh, okay, so that's it. Uh, so not not that much. It's pretty easy, as I mentioned. Uh, usually, if you want web and mobile, uh, the trick is you start from mobile and then you can start the browser and switch between. Um, and browser and device. It's pretty straightforward. If you are our customers, you have channel to talk to us, please don't hesitate to ask additional questions if you have where and ask questions uh, right now if you'd like and we'll be happy to answer them now. Yes, you can either use the chat or the Q&A. So the first question is, is multiple devices usage possible? Uh, uh, so is multiple devices uh, usage uh, uh, possible? Well, uh, currently not yet. So basically what, um, it will basically uh, be sticking to the uh, uh, device type you have specified, uh, then you created the test suite. So as you, if you check the documentation, there is no uh, currently supported uh, syntax to specify what device uh, you want to use. However, if there is something important in your particular case, you're happy to do that. Uh, this is one and second, uh, in majority of the cases, you actually don't need that because I think what you're looking for is to running the same test on multiple devices. In this particular example, we selected Samsung Galaxy F20, but let's, uh, for example, add a Pixel XL, save. So we specified two devices now. 
And uh, then we now re rerun the tests. Let's just run, I guess, one test in here. It will run on two devices. So like we literally will be two tests, two copies of it. One will run on Android uh, Ultra, and which is basically Samsung S20. And another one will run on Android Pixel XL. So this way, uh, uh, this is usually what our customers want when we talk about multiple devices. This way you can use multiple devices. There is currently no support of, for starting multiple different devices from one, uh, one test. So whatever you kick off, you can kick off additional devices, but those will be of the same type. Uh, during the test. Um, however, you can replicate that. And for example, if you add additional devices while uh, testing on Samsung S20, and you say, hey, uh, start me off a new device, it will start yet another S20. So you can uh, test chat between two S20 instances. However, if you're running, as I showed you uh, here, an example in the Pixel XL, it will start a second Pixel XL. So you can test a chat between two Pixel XL instances. So you can use uh, uh, multiple devices this way. If you need something additional, something extra, please do let us know. Uh, and uh, we will consider your use case. And if it's not supported, we'll be happy to have support for it. And this is how you switch, right? So this is a default, you click on this one. This is a different, uh, this is Excel and this is Samsung S20. So you can probably notice the resolution changes a little bit in here. Okay. And one of our customers says, nice feature. She uses it a lot. So the next question is, can we switch between portrait mode and landscape mode in mobile testing? Uh, for the modern landscape mode, uh, great question. Uh, let's see. So I might not know that. Uh, I'm sure. Like we, uh, I remember we introduced some kind of command to switch because we have all of these swipes and scrolls and all that stuff, which is uh long press which is specific to mobile um i can double check and get back to you on how to do it i might not necessarily know i wasn't i don't remember like uh, being involved in this feature but happy to please do let us know uh, ping me uh, make sure to ping me and uh i'll connect you with the right uh, people and you will figure out and uh, I'll ask people to add this, uh, this feature into documentation if it's not already there. Okay. Um, so are there any other questions? We have a few minutes here where you can ask them. We um, are running this session every other week now. And so you're welcome to register. I'm sending out email. So um, if you're not getting that email, um, you should let us know. I'll put in my email address here for you to let me know. Um, but any other questions for this session? And like I said, we have our next one coming in two weeks. We are recording all these. And so we have a library that um, is on the testrigger.com slash events. It's that page and all of these recordings are there. All right. Do you have anything to add, Artem, to wrap this up? Um, no, really. Uh, we'll be uh, always happy to answer any of your questions. And if you need any help on setting up your uh, cross-web mobile testing, you're happy to help.